Hello everybody and welcome to this video and today we're going to be talking about something a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, we're going to be talking about the Poetic Anarchy course that's coming up and how this one is different from other ones I've done in the past. Um, poetic Anarchy, what is it? Let's talk about it. So when I started this course a year ago, I did it because I couldn't find a course out there or a workshop out there that was doing what I wanted to see done, basically. And what I mean by that is, is that this is the only writing course, writing workshop, I think, that um, focuses on you as a writer, as opposed to the things that you are writing. And that might sound a little um, strange and weird and whatever, but it's not because whatever you're writing, okay, writing is a very personal thing. It is like you making love to the paper or you making love to your computer or whatever. It is a very intimate thing and you're exposing a lot of yourself. Even if you write fiction, you put a lot of yourself into your characters, okay? A lot of fiction writers pull from real life things that have happened to them to give them ideas for things to happen with their characters. So as much as Poetic Anarchy is focused on poetry, it's not just for poetry. It is for any kind of writing. I would even go so far and say that it could be used in just any kind of art whether it is painting, sculpting, acting, screenwriting, um, directing, like everything comes from the same place. Like if you're a creator, you fucking create and that's what you do. And however, whatever medium you use to do that, it all comes from the same place. All right. So even though the things that we are doing in the Poetic Anarchy course are poetry based, it's not poetry like your grandma's poetry, okay? We're learning how to be creators. We're learning how to be artists. We're learning to expand ourselves, to reach a little further than we normally would. And that's why I think this course is perfect for anyone like anybody could get a lot out of this. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that you're gonna be going over because this course, I've, I've done two of these already and this is such an expanded course from what the original one was. So we are gonna be working on your creativity and ways to make your creativity work with your life that you live, whatever your lifestyle is, however you lead your life, find ways to make your creativity work within those parameters. We're also going to be going over different types of art. So as far as like, originally it was just, we were going over these types of poetry, but, um, going over different mediums and, um, how you, as a creator can create things differently based on the things you enjoy and the way your brain works is a really big deal. For instance, there is a buddy of mine who is a director and he made a bunch of movies. And when he was directing, he focused more on the actors and how the actors interacted with one another and tried to make those actors feel as real as possible. It wasn't until about a year ago, after years and years and years of directing, that he's like, you know what? Like, I love directing, but I really feel like I'm a photographer. Like, I love lighting things and taking pictures of people and all this other stuff. And it's weird because he never dealt with any kind of cinematography aspect in his films before but because he's noticing that he does have a good eye for um, creating evocative images that he's like shit like 
what the fuck am I doing? And so now he's like thinking that like, so he's been doing photography now for like a year, but now he's like, should I be melding these two? So now he's thinking about taking cinematography courses um, to learn the technical end of stuff so he could start doing that. It's just, it's amazing when you see somebody who has done all this stuff suddenly realize like the light bulb goes off and it's just like, fuck, I should be doing this thing. So we're going to be doing stuff like that. We're going to be talking about um, finding your voice and what your voice sounds like and how to really um, hone in on your voice and make your voice just as unique as you are. Um, we're going to be talking about things from like simplicity versus agony, which is um, two ways that I think people create. And one is very easy and one is very hard. I'll let you pick which ones those are. Um, talking about modern times, social media mentality, when you are writing, when you're creating, um, how to use that to help you. Talk about Talking about um, ritualistic and um, habitual types of habits and how to form them and um, why they're important and which ones are not important kind of thing. Um, an, a bit, another big thing is dealing with fear and insecurities of how um, people perceive your work. Because I'll tell you right now, this, for some reason, and I don't think it's a malicious thing, but usually those closest to us are the ones who are the most critical of our work. And when I say critical, I don't even mean in a critical criticism. I mean, critical in like, what the fuck are you doing? You want, you want to do what? Oh, don't quit your day job, buddy. Like that kind of shit and how to um, navigate that minefield because that is a fucker, dude. That is such a fucker. And um, I know from talking with a lot of um, students that I've had and talking with a lot of people just over the years that our friends and family and lovers and people close to us like that typically are the ones who are the most unsupportive people. And the thing that's sad is that they usually say they're trying to be supportive. And um, for a lot of this, there isn't try. Like you don't need to try to be supportive. You either are supportive or you're not supportive. So if in me saying this, like you're like, oh shit, yeah, that's fucking familiar. It's familiar for you because it's familiar for everybody. And we'll talk about how to deal with stuff like that. Um, there, there will be homework assignments and stuff like that, but it won't be anything to like knock you out to where like you're like, oh shit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this in time. Like there, it's totally work at your own pace. And that's one of the big differences between this way of doing it and the way the first two classes went. The first two classes... It was like, shit needs to be done by this date. This is completely work at your own pace. So you can take as much time as you need um, before you go to the next thing. Now, I really, really, truly think that I could help you or else I wouldn't even be able, I, I wouldn't be fucking wasting my time doing this because I'm a very impatient person. And if I didn't think the things I was offering could help you be better, I would just say, fuck it. And then on the selfish side of this, and I've said this the last two times I've done this class, and both times it came back in spades, dude, and it was amazing. But I want to do this because I want to find some good fucking shit. I want to find some good shit to read. I want to find some fucking beautiful fucking art. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the selfish side of this is that I'm hoping to discover some fucking amazing shit. And in both classes that fucking happened. And that has been probably, um, the most like exhilarating thing to see people go from having such low confidence in their ability to create to fucking like making amazing fucking shit. It's fantastic. If you're easily offended, don't fucking do this. Okay. Because this is going to be a very, open freeing um kind of thing and if 
like you don't like hearing certain language or anything like that, I don't know. I, I would say kind of stay away from this because, I mean, you know how the fuck I talk and shit, but when we're going over other people's work and stuff like that, um, I'm not holding them back. So if they're going to be dropping bombs and shit like that and talking about bumping uglies and shit like that in their work, like that's their work and they're allowed to fucking do that. And so I would like people coming in to have that same open mind, just, just in the same way. Like you wouldn't want anyone like offended or talking shit on your fucking art. So this is like a completely free open kind of way for you to express yourself. So like no inhibitions and shit like that. This whole course, this whole workshop, this whole whatever the fuck you want to call it. You could call it anything. You could call it me just helping you out. Um, it's more anything. It's more philosophy of what art is and what your art can be. And that's really, really important. Because there are a million motherfuckers out there who teach at fucking universities, who teach in high school, who teach at community colleges, who teach workshops, who teach whatever, who can say, these are the things you have to do in order to do this. And that's not what this is. This is me telling you that you're already capable of doing these things. Let's make those things happen. Okay. It, it's very, very different. It's all up here. It, it's all up here trying to figure out like, are these things possible? And the answer is yes. And so you just have to connect this right here with this right here. And you're fucking spilling your fucking soul out. You know what I'm saying? Um, in whatever medium you choose. So, um, there again, will be no judgment of any kind in doing this. Like, I want you to be able to like fucking rip your fucking chest open, pull out your insides, show it to everybody and feel good about doing it. Um, there is no fucking, um, personal attacks, personal criticisms, we will be going over the things you do and talking about ways, not just ways you can make it better, but avenues you can take in the future to do things differently if you want to do those things differently. Um, I'm a very firm believer in art being completely subjective. And um, so there is no right or wrong way to do anything. This is just you taking the step to fucking do the thing that you've always wanted to do or to do the thing that you still do now, but do it more and do it with um, a more freeing attitude, a happier like disposition when you fucking do it, you know? So you're going to get tons and tons of use out of this course. Very, very excited to do it because it is such an exciting thing. And just like I'll put the book here, like we're going to put another book out of the people who do the stuff. But the thing is, is that this book is like a cool, like added thing. And it's a published work and stuff like that. But like this isn't going to be a you need to hurry the fuck up to get into this. This will always be here. It could be put out at any time. Um, this is totally work at your own pace. It's totally like you exploring yourself and exploring your creativity as you want to do that kind of thing. The fun part about what we're going to do now, <clears throat> which is completely different than how we've done it in the past, is that starting next week on July 11th, Monday through Friday, so um, the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, I think that's how that works. Um, I'm going to be doing a live stream every day, and it'll probably be around noon or 1 Pacific time, okay? And what that is going to be, it's going to be kind of like 
an introduction into poetic anarchy and how it works. So you can do this course for free. Like you show up and you do it and you could do it all week long every day because every day is going to be another lesson, let's say. Okay. And then um, after those five days, um, starting the next week, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. And um, that will be through the join membership feature. Um, and you join the anarchy crew and you can keep doing that. But if you decide you don't want to do that, like if you just want to do the week and have that be a thing, then just fucking do the week. And that's fine. As long as you're fucking like your juices are flowing and you're fucking creating and you're doing the thing. That's all that matters. Okay. But I'm so confident in what I'm doing that I feel like even if you come for a week, you're going to want to sign up and do the whole fucking course. So let's just get together on Monday and do the live stream. You could ask any questions you want in the chat and um, we can move forward and like fucking make some amazing fucking shit and feel fucking good about it and not worry what motherfuckers think about it. Cause that is fucking number one, like your biggest fucking, the biggest reason why you can't do the things you want to do is because of the fucking lies you tell yourself all the time about why you can't fucking do something. And it's so fucking frustrating. And, um, a lot of you right now, as I said that, are like, yeah, but you don't know me because I have this, 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 and that, which makes it hard for me to do any of those things. Everybody has things like that. Everybody has a fucking reason why they can't fucking do something. There is never a good time to fucking do anything. You just have to decide if you care enough about the thing that you're going to make it fucking work. If you care enough about painting that you're going to say, you know what? I really don't have time for this right now, but fuck it because I want to fucking paint. If you want to write that fucking novel, you've been fucking thinking about writing for the last 15 fucking years. And, and then, oh, this just hasn't been the right time. You know, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for that. There is never a right time for it. You have to decide that it's important to you and it's important enough for you to fucking do the thing. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that is the spiel. So um, next week, every day, there will be um, like a lesson to get your feet wet on Poetic Anarchy and then um, join the Anarchy crew and you will have those videos um, and those live streams to go over more and more shit, plus all the other videos that I put up on my members only bit on here. Um, and if you have any questions at all, like any questions whatsoever, put them down below and um, ask away. If you've already taken the course, leave it down below that you've done it. And just, just so people can see like what you got out of the course or something like that, that would be amazing. So, with that said, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.